here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. Hi you guys. So I am actually in the car, obviously, way to um, Publix because I'm just having a crappy day. I've been crying, I've been emotional, I've been angry. You know, I've been a lot and you know, I talk crap and I get over it, you know, and that's just kind of how, that's my coping mechanism. But today and last night, I just, been not myself and it is low-key driving me insane it's just not good <laughs> me and hubby just had like a a very marital conversation nothing's wrong with our marriage you guys and it's like one of those things that bothers me so much and you know you have these pet peeves and then because I'm pregnant and I'm emotional, stuff is bothering me that shouldn't bother me, but it is, and I just can't stop crying. So now my energy is low and I can't feel the butt there. So I decided to go to Publix and and get some ice cream and cake. Like <laughs> that is how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like I'm having the ultimate like period slash pregnancy symptom and I'm angry at everybody everything irritates me and I'm just hoping that if I could just take a breather and eat some ice cream and I always get cupcakes because I just do now my nose is running <laughs> and I don't have any tissue so clearly I am back home because I'm driving I am not in Daytona Beach anymore. I really did like Daytona Beach, you know, but there was some aspects I didn't like. First of all, their bedding wasn't very comfortable for me. Not saying it was bad, but it wasn't comfortable for me. I don't know, but I did have a good time while I was there, but I'm so glad to be home. Now, I'm just really hoping that this ice cream and cake really really amps me up i use this app called flip pretty much you can put all the stores flyers that you shop at into one app instead of like trying to research what the weekly deals are you can just go to like one place and like find out what the weekly deals are so i used the app and i seen that they had buy one get one free ice cream and i'm gonna see what bakery deals we have so obviously the best bakery deals is gonna be at Publix, so I'm going to Publix now, I'm here now, so. <sighs> I don't want this video to start out me and like complaining or whatever, but this is the real. So, this is what you're gonna get today. So, <laughs> just come with me to Publix and let's see how that goes. I swear, everyone's here today. Let's get a It's gotta be different. Cupcakes. Jesus, when do cupcakes become five dollars? Mm. Cheese, cream cheese. Let me see what the cake deal is first. Am I the only one that buys birthday cake and not on a birthday? There's a vanilla one in here. It's frozen. There's a vanilla one. This is $10 for a whole cake. Maybe, let's see. I don't like this. I, I just don't like the chocolate ones. I really don't. Oh, oh vanilla. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Everything just looks so good. Oh my gosh. Fun fact, I don't like red velvet cake. I swear, vlogging is so abnormal here. Everyone looks at you crazy. Yeah. I gotta learn to not have any bucks to give. <laughs> I am so spending unnecessary money. But I think emotionally, I need it. 
They should write a prescription for this. So I made it back in the car. I'm already feeling slightly better just looking at these cupcakes. Like, look at them. It looks so good. I want to eat one right now. I'm debating on it. But I don't know. I have to get better with the vlogging around people thing. Because I'm a person I don't care about much. But at the same time, it's like I hate when people look at you questionably. Is that a word? Yeah, like just kind of like inquisitive. Like, why is she doing that? Why is she talking to herself? Like, bitch, you know damn well I ain't talking to myself. <laughs> you see me looking at this camera. We are in the dead age of social media. You know what I'm doing. <laughs> Even if you don't know I'm doing YouTube, you know I'm filming for a reason. Usually if I ever, which is rare, but if I ever see somebody like vlogging themselves, I just be like oh that's pretty cool they're vlogging and stuff i'll be like look or something like that but i don't be really weird about it like stare like people are really rude i feel like i'm always wearing black like it's ridiculous okay so now i am clearly back in the house i ate i don't know what this is on my jacket oh well and i had heated up one of those little like cheap little like dollar something pizzas that's David's piece. So now I'm feeling a little bit better. I had put some food in my system and me and David have talked. He made me feel a lot better. So I feel a lot better. Um, but it just also gave me a little bit more anxiety uh, how much stuff that has to be done. Uh, he told me that I probably should start my checklist of stuff that we need to do for the nursery as well as uh, for baby herself so I started writing that down and look how far I've gotten the nursery side is this side and the to-do list is on this side so I'm looking on Pinterest for ideas and watching Colleen if you don't know Colleen it's Miranda Sings or whatever so I'm watching her vlogs and she's her pregnancy is going a lot like mine is. Her seems a little bit worse to be honest, but as far as her emotions, but I feel I can relate. Hashtag team relate. Miranda, she will never see this in her life, but girl, I feel you. One of the things that I wanted to get done today is to clean the nursery room. It is a mess, like a mess. Like I'm embarrassed to show you, but whatever so i'm writing down things i need to get done i thought i should check in really quickly just to update you guys i actually didn't eat no cake and ice cream yet i had some chinese food in this pizza <laughs> and now i'm just kind of chilling and eating on some ice i know somebody was telling me on my last uh buck date when somebody was like oh you should be careful that is a sign of low iron like I said before, I had low iron my whole life. So me having the symptom of ice is really no, nothing new because even when it comes to donating like blood and stuff, I've never been eligible because I always have low iron since I can remember. Like first time I think I've been told I had low iron when I was like 11. But uh, I think that's pretty cool to know at the end of the day that ice, craving ice is a symptom of low iron. So it's not exactly surprising that I want ice. So. <laughs> so ooh, sorry me and david have been sitting out on this little on our little backyard thing for a while a couple hours it's a couple hours later and he is living his best life watch i'm gonna scare him watch <laughs> oh caught you <laughs> uh, yeah, so 
We've been outside for a couple of hours and now we're gonna try to organize the nursery room because the baby room is a hot, 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 hot mess. Look at this. Look at it. Look at this. Hot mess. So we are getting ready to organize the baby clothes. And organize, I mean taking everything off the hangers. But I really just want to see what we have to figure out what we actually need. This is pretty much all the clothes that we have for baby Isaacs. If you have not seen my baby clothes haul video, these are all the clothes from that. Uh, I actually had way more clothes in this and I took a lot of them back because I think I was just like overdoing it. So we are about to take everything down, figure out how many cloths we have, receiving wrap, onesies, what sizes we have, how many we have in the size, all that good stuff. So thought we just kind of should uh, bring you along on us actually doing something for the baby <laughs> and um, see how it goes. Oh, actually, babe, can you grab the notepad so we can keep track and write down? of what we have and try to get a pep in the step. I know I said earlier that I was in a crazy bad mood, but I'm gonna snap out of it, gonna get our life together and we just gonna keep it moving. What are you doing? <laughs> what were you doing? I was a little thirsty, so I was gonna get me something to drink. Mm-hmm. It was taking a little bit long, sir. Mm. All right. Can't get mad at that. So, while he gets something to drink, I should figure out. So this chair is what I'm thinking about dealing with for the baby shower. But I'm trying to decide, babe. Which one should be yours and which one should be mine? Well, you need to rest your arms, so you, I mean, this looks like the guy's chair, but you need to rest your arms, so I guess you put your arms there, hmm. and this be a little throne. Hmm. I don't care where I sit. <laughs> it's just a chair. So yeah. Sit here. But you're the centerpiece of this, so you get the better chair. Look at him trying to be so sweet. Babies on the cloud. Sorry, this is the best I can oh, do. My head is like. Oh, well, move up. Let's move so close. Let's come out a little bit. You okay? I'm straight. Uh. Is the table okay? <laughs> that rock hard shoulder. Oh. All these muscles. Oh my gosh! Can you sit up straight? You don't look comfortable. No, I'm not. Ooh, this is nice. Yeah, that's the one I got that's from it. the thrift store. Going to sleep outfit. Oh, this is nice too. Oh yeah. That blue one? That's so cute. It's been so long since I've seen these outfits. Oh shit. You stuck? Okay. Get it out. <sighs> you get no, child. Get no. So basically, I'm gonna go ahead Take everything off the hangers and then put them by size and onesies. So size, so if it's three months, three month onesies and sleepers. So let's just start by taking off. And this is, this is what I got from the thrift store. We doing pants by month too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause then we need to figure out how much pants we have and what we need. I was gonna say, you okay over there? Oh God, I and individually space. pop each one of these off. Yeah. God. You need me to do this? You're gonna be strong for the camera. No damn way he would give it to me originally. Hush. Zero What's three this? months. Zero three. Do you have any like type of like nerves or anxiety you're looking forward to now that it's getting closer? Not anymore. I'm just ready for the baby to be here at this point. So our lives can kind of get back to a little bit of normalcy. It'll be different with the baby, but... It'll you know. be like getting into a routine? Yeah, it's just... 
something. I'm not anxious. I'm just ready for the baby to be here. I think what you're trying to say, which I can get if you're trying to say this, is that kind of ready to be into a routine. It kind of feels like a little bit like life is at a pause and as at a standstill. And we're just essentially just waiting on baby to get here. And it's kind of like different because I'm not working. You don't have to work to have a routine, but it's like we're just waiting on this one thing to happen. It's like waiting on a promotion. It's just like it hasn't happened yet. And you're at a standstill. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that sounds kind of good, low key. Good job. Uh, <laughs> yeah, ready to see what kind of baby we're gonna have. It's gonna be a whiny baby or quiet baby, which personality a baby will take on. Mine or yours. Comment down below um, what you think, uh, what the baby's personality is gonna take on. If you think it's gonna take on more David's personality or my personality. Probably gonna be like me. <laughs> Oh no, it's hard to say. I think we're gonna have a chill baby. She probably is gonna be chill. I'm probably just gonna annoy her. She probably gonna be the one that sleep through everything, I think. Like when people are being loud and stuff, I don't think that'll bother her because I feel like I'm kinda loud. So she might be getting used to my voice. She, yep, she's getting used to it right now. <laughs> while she's in the stomach. Yeah. I'm ready for you to start drinking again so I don't feel like I'm the only one. <laughs> I'm ready to. I'm ready for us to have relations again. Cause that ain't happening right now because we can't do it. <laughs> All this good stuff. No, Lane, what are you supposed to be looking forward to? Why would I why wouldn't I be looking forward to that? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Uh, I mean I am too, but this is not what we're talking about. Look at this. Oh, jacket. It's a little like again yeah I'm just ready for the same to get into a routine and like I said to y'all earlier I'm just emotional basket case right now over being pregnant I don't regret being pregnant so don't take it like that but I'm just ready to drop her off and <laughs> so I can get my body back I'm very curious on how life is gonna look once she's here like I have no idea like when David starts to go back to work and all that stuff. Is David gonna be restless? Is he gonna be frustrated? Also, how are we gonna juggle being young parents and if we decide to like go out to eat and stuff, how are we gonna do that with us not living near anybody? I think for the most part, we'll end up taking the baby pretty much a lot of places that we go to, but I'm ready for, you know, the older stage. David likes to age himself. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is, but he is so down to be old for some reason. Gonna start off at the YMCA at six months. We'll start swimming lessons. <laughs> he comes in the house, so they're like, oh, they start doing swimming lessons at six months, which I agree, I would do my kid that early too, but still, like, how are we gonna be as parents? Like, we're gonna be, like responsible for someone for the rest of our lives. You're gonna be the stern one and I'm gonna be <laughs> the fun one. Wait, I'm gonna be fun. Yeah, but you ain't gonna let our baby do a lot of stuff. You're gonna be like, no. Wait, <laughs> that's not, that may be a little bit true or not true. I don't know. It just depends. I think David gonna be so like lean and everything like I'll be like staring in the case of where like David be out somewhere and they be like, "Oh yeah, cute baby, can I hold on?" David be like, "Yeah, <laughs> you can hold her." And I'm like, oh, "You can't be just letting everybody hold your baby." And I see myself getting in trouble a lot from her from, <laughs> from doing stuff like that. And be like, "Damn, I don't uh, know this thing. Like, I don't know how to do this stuff." <laughs> I just. I don't know, it just don't seem like, like I'm scared cause y'all know my immune system low. I don't know how our girl is gonna be. Like, is she gonna be the type um, baby that's always allergic to everything and can't eat this and can't do that? Is she gonna have sensitive skin? Like, and that's gonna be an adjustment because then that's not something we deal with, but it's a learning process cause you may not know off the bat. So you gotta be careful in the beginning. What age, at what age do you think we can start taking a baby to the zoo and stuff? I think whenever they're walking mm -hmm. is a good age to start taking them to places. I think like from the kid shows I've been watching, once they start like 
walking and like touching stuff, mm -hmm. that's when stuff become more interesting. Maybe I can help us out with this one. I like this one too. Let's see. Oh yeah, struggles. Like the it's called the snuggle is real. Snuggle is real. Yep. The colors are good. Yeah, I like that color. We are officially done organizing the clothes, you know what I'm saying? Your girl's tired or whatever. And I figured out everything we have versus what we need. David is now gonna wash the clothes now. Let's see what this looks like. Okay. There's, there's water at the bottom. It'll fill back up once I close this. Did you put detergent on it? Yeah, sorry, detergent. It's already in there? Yeah. I thought I would smell it more. It doesn't really smell like that much if you're gonna smell this. It's so weird to see baby clothes in here. Like, oh, so exciting. Go ahead and drop it in there. Drop it on them. Go ahead and drop it on them. Bam. Wow. They're gonna say we need a washer. It'll work. It just takes takes its time. So what what do you have it on? You have no, it on. See, see. It's washing. It ain't filled. It's gonna soak all the clothes down deeper into the water that's already in there. That wasn't enough water. They were floating. The clothes was floating on top of the water, so it's putting it deeper into the water. Moving it down deeper into the water. It don't look like enough water. It'll put it'll put more water in there later. Let it do its thing. It'll put more water in there later. Yeah, yeah, I think we need large. It says some wash. It says some wash. It already did feel. It soaked. It's washing. Now it's supposed to rinse, and then it spins, and then it's done. Just let it do its thing. Y'all, I'm so worried, because he's going to fuck up these clothes. I don't think they're going to mess up. They're not going to wash properly. It's a regular washing machine, and you press like two buttons, and it goes. Yeah, but they ain't got no water in it. Maybe we should enlarge. It'll be fine. They got to come out and smell it just like me. That don't mean they're clean. Y'all don't understand what I deal with with him. Y'all really don't. He don't listen. You worry too much. <laughs> it's gonna be clean. There ain't no water in there. They said that's how this washing machine works. That mean we ain't put it on the right it's side. Efficient. That mean we ain't put the right size. It don't change depending on how much load is in there. It'll add water itself. See, see, open it up now. Wet. Everything in here is wet. Wet. It's wet. supposed to be soaked. It is soaked. Touch it. No, it's not enough. Water supposed to be above this. It's fine. Look at this. Y'all see my hair? It's fine. Look how much water in here. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. So, whatever. If the clothes are washing, and mostly everything is done what we're probably gonna do today probably just gonna chill out watch a little tv catch up on a little bit of ddg or something like that and chill out and that be that i'm uh, starting to feel a little bit better but baby's starting to feel really heavy right now it's a lettuce <sighs> it's a lettuce and i'm a potato i think that's gonna be it for today, I decided to vlog instead of putting out a bump date, but a bump date will be out soon, so no worries, you guys. But yeah, I guess until next time, we will see you guys later. Later. Game coming right to your mama.